All right, so we're gonna do a collection update video. I mean, it's been a long time coming. I know I haven't been regular in doing an update and Danny is going to help us give a tour of the room, the near empty toy room. Will you, will you help us, Danny? Yeah. All right, so where do you go first? How about here? Where? Okay, so there's nothing left except that lightsaber Danny hasn't used for his cosplay. A bunch of bins of Danny and Alex's old toys. Uh, a lot of these bins are mommy's bins, right? Yeah. And some stuff that she put, so no more toys there. I quit the masterpiece line, no more masterpieces. A bunch of other knickknack toys that Danny and Alex still kept. Okay? On to here. This is what's left of my Star Wars collection. Why don't we take a look at it? Danny, come on. All right, so we still have some lightsabers. These are Kylo Ren, Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, and Rey lightsaber. And for Black Series, I put the uh, 3.75 inch action figures. I don't have any more of those, but I, I've kept some Black Series figures. And these are all that's left of the Black Series. And here in the bins are the 40th anniversary Star Wars figure, uh, uh, Black Series figures, the carded ones. You get the a few archive and episode one carded figures there, and these are the Darth Vader, Darth Maul villains shelf. Some Black Series figures here, like Boba Fett, Darth Vader. Okay, and these are some of the others. That's it. That's all I have for Star Wars, right? Yeah. Okay, let's move on to the next part of the room. Okay, and here is let the main section of the collection and yep uh, this is the studio series collection I've almost nearly got everything back I have yet to pick up rebuy buy again or purchase again the uh, Grimlock and blackout I'm just waiting for it to go down further but I'm looking at a store that's selling them cheap, so might get that. Number 15, Toys R Us exclusive, unfortunately, here in Asia. Um, maybe if my wife takes me to Hong Kong or Singapore, maybe I can score one. But that, that's that been very difficult to get, especially even here in the Philippines. So that's it. Uh, here's what's left of the Legends bin. Not much. Still have the combiners. Very dusty. I don't know if I'm going to move them or put them in bins, but they're very dusty. I have to clean them up. Okay, here's Siege, Decepticons. Oh, Autobots. Mostly Autobots. I put them in two bins now. And the Decepticons are, Decepticons are here. And some of the Power of the Primes, Titans Return are here. Okay, using Yamaguchi, miscellaneous stuff. And if you've noticed up here, well, those are just boxes, uh, the combiners. But up here, I've sort of modified my Marvel shelf. If you notice, the first 10 years are gone. I've actually gotten rid of them in light of the new Marvel figures that have come out. And I think the point, uh, the moment when I felt I had to get rid of them was when I did a review on the Hulk and the Wolverine. And when I took out the first 10 years Hulk from that two pack with the Hulkbuster, didn't feel the same anymore. The awe and the like, the wow factor that that entire set had um, was gone, and I figured I didn't like it as much as I did before. So I decided to get rid of it, pass it on to a buddy, and I got rid of most of it. And it actually saves me some money because I was thinking of getting the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Red Skull just to complete the set, so I'm not going to do that anymore, thank God, because it's still going for $80. I've only kept one piece from the collection, though. This is probably my favorite one of the entire uh, first 10 years, which is the Mark Seven. That's the only one I've kept, and I've gotten rid of the others as well. I've gotten rid of my Falcon and Bucky uh, set. I've gotten rid of my WandaVision set because I'm, I figured new shows are coming out uh, on studio, on Disney Plus and I'm sure we're going to be getting more Sam and Bucky figures which I'm sure are probably going to be better than what we have right now so I've 
best get rid of the ones I have because no one's going to buy them once new figures are out. WandaVision is coming out. There's going to be a new Vision fig repack of the Vision figure. So I figured I'd get rid of that set while people are still interested in it. And I know it's, some of the sets are hard to come by, the 10 years and the MCU line, but uh, I, I stick to my rule. If my light, like how I like the figure goes below 100%, I got to get rid of it and just give it to somebody who will appreciate it 100%. And here's my X-Men shelf. I've repurchased some of the figures, like you remember Storm, X-23, Jubilee. After selling them, I decided to buy them again. And these are all that's left of the X-Men. Villains, more X-Men, and yep, the vintage card. You know these guys, right? Uh, I mean, I haven't done reviews of these three, and I haven't actually picked up the Silver Samurai and the Muromasa Wolverine. I don't know, uh, just don't feel spending $26 for them, so yeah. And over there, we've got some loose Marvel figures. Uh, Black Widow, some of the X-Men. I think Cyclops is, is there, right? Okay. And then that's it, some brochures and Transformers. And if you also notice, I've gotten rid of my entire Pops, Funko Pop collection. Just wasn't working for me anymore. Uh, it was getting very, very expensive to collect. So that's it. Oh, and if you're wondering what's going on with this shelf, this particular drawer or cabinet, it's all emptied out. There's nothing left in this, okay? And that's about it. And there are, I've kept some boxes up here, top. The upgrade kits, and these are the only two G1, three G1 figures I have. Bumblebee, Megatron, Optimus Prime. I might get, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get the commemorative issue of Optimus Prime, the commemorative Optimus Prime figures from Takara Tomy, the G1 box. Uh, sound, G1 Soundwave reissue has been out for a while. I'm just waiting for a good price for that. Maybe I'll get it together with the other cassettes. These are just boxes of Transformers that I've kept. The Siege line. Okay, and that is it for the main collection. All right, Danny, tell them what we got here. You've got your Sembo blocks right there. And I've gotten rid of the entire Batman collection. Well, not entirely. I kept a few pieces here and there, but almost everything has been sold off. Passed on to a buddy, and Batmobiles are gone. Just really don't feel the need to keep them anymore. A few more toys here and there, but that's it. All empty bins. There's not, there's not much anymore. And that's it. So there you go, folks. That's what's left of my collection. That's my update as of September the 3rd, 2019. Trying to keep the collection 100%. And uh, hopefully I can still get some more toys to review for you guys in the coming months as we head through Christmas out here in Manila. Christmas season has begun. We start celebrating Christmas once September the 1st hits. I don't know, it's a weird thing. Um, people start decorating once September hits up until January. Uh, but uh, lots of clearance, toy clearance, toy, toy sales or clearance sales happening in the next couple months. So maybe I'll get a few. Maybe I'll get more new releases for you guys to review. Let me know what you think of my collection, what, what's left of it. Uh, let me know in the comment section below and hit that notification bell so you never miss any of my latest video reviews. Okay, this has been my collection update for September 2019. Thanks for watching.